Hello everyone, and welcome to another chess video. Um, sorry that I have not been posting videos for the past week or so. I had, um, many mid midterms and exams last week, so I didn't really have time to play chess or make videos. But anyway, I'm back, and I plan on posting more videos more frequently. And, well, I, I just decided I'd post a game. Today, um, it was a 15-minute game on ICC. Uh, and, well, the main theme of this will be something that King's Crusher refers to many times. Uh, King's Crusher, uh, another user on YouTube, always repeats, put yourself beyond defeat before going on to the attack. And so, that's what I do. Uh, I make it impossible for my opponents to have counterplay. And then eventually go on to win my, win the game. So we start the game with a French defense. This is usually what I play, and we enter the winnower variation, which I was very happy to see. You usually get a lot of fun games out of this. He goes into mainline stuff, and we have. A4, which is not a very popular variation. Uh, the most popular is the aggressive queen to g4, in which black lets his. Excuse me. One second. In which black lets his king side get destroyed. Um, maybe by c takes d, that's what I prefer. Uh, and there are chances for both sides in this variation. I have other videos of whatever variation. But anyway, he goes into a more positional battle. Queen c7. This was uh, an unnecessary move. For some reason I was afraid of any tactics along this diagonal. With the bishop being there, but um, I was going to close off this uh, close off the center anyway via c4. So this was not even a threat moving the pawn up. In fact, the next move I actually close the center. I was waiting for him to move the bishop before, and he here we go, knight a5. The point behind this is to, one, blockade this pawn, and two, defend the b7 pawn. This way I don't have to worry about queenside attacks, as I was planning on castling queenside, and attacking on the kingside. This is a questionable move. Um, Ripka, my computer, said that the slight advantage white had was um, depleted after this move. I of course would be happy if he took uh, via uh, en passant because then I would open up my G file and his king would be a sitting duck. This was a good maneuver on his part bring his bishop to the d6 square. I defend my knight, and he brings his bishop there. Perhaps a little earlier in the game it would have been better for me to bring my king over to uh, b8 and then a8, so he would be a little safer, but it didn't turn out to be a problem in the game. And I think after my next move, any chance of white having an initiative on the queen side is over. These two knights perfectly uh, extinguish any counterplay white has, and I'm basically free to destroy the king side at my own free will. Uh, he doesn't have any pawns to break up my pawns, as this knight is blockading, and he doesn't have any real pieces to sacrifice. This bishop is locked out, and so there's no way for him to open up the queen side. 
and I have a free attack now with no counterplay. And so the game actually will end quite soon. A better defense than that would have been uh, A6G, well, just letting my rook get in there. And then, yeah, he's still worse, but the game would have turned out better than it did. Instead, he opted for this. I'm threatening things like G takes H2, um, followed up by Queen takes H3 if the king does not recapture. Uh, there are lots of ugly threats here. So he defends the G2 pawn. And the king took in the game. He could have done a better job defending, but uh, this would have been better for him. I plan to double up rooks, and the end would have been quite similar, but he only made it his own demise quicker in this variation. And with this, he resigned. Uh, Rivka actually says there's a mate in eight moves from here. Uh, the point being that he can't recapture, he can't capture my bishop on account of queen takes g2 mate. Uh, so, I hope you guys like this game. Um, I forgot to introduce at the beginning of the video what rating my opponent was. Uh, he was 1750, and I'm around the same rating now. I was in 1800 a couple weeks ago, but uh, just because I haven't been playing enough chess, my rating is slightly worse. So, my opponent could have defended a little better in the game. The point was, however, that he had no counterplay on the queen side. And that's why, no matter what he did on the king side, I would always have, you know, free, free attack. So, I hope you like this video. Please comment and subscribe if you like it. Um, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys next time.